she stole my seat, my brand new seat. Caducer mother stole my seat. Hey everyone, this is Edwin and finally I'm back in the studio to answer all of your questions about music production. Just ask the question in the comments down below and I will answer in the next episode of Producer Tips. For now, I asked you guys on Twitter and on Instagram what do you want to know about music production? So I will try my best to answer everything right now spontaneously in this type of videos. So, first question is by Tectonic Audio. Steven, thank you for this great question. I don't understand how to increase perceived loudness. There are several ways to increase perceived loudness. Perceived loudness is the way our ears hear frequencies and um, the same volume at a given frequency, for example a sub, won't sound as loud as another frequency at the same volume, let's say the mid-range. Furthermore, most devices like your phone do not reproduce frequencies in a flat way. They mostly reproduce frequencies in the mid-range. That is this radio effect you can add on your songs that is very nice. Pretty much represents this effect. So why would you like to increase perceived loudness? Let's say someone is playing a song and then your song appears in his Spotify and it doesn't sound as loud. That's the problem you want to avoid. You want your track to sound as loud as possible to the human ear. So, but the human ear doesn't have frequencies above 20k Hertz. So you want to maximize uh, the frequencies around 1000 Hertz. So, for example, let's take this track I'm going to release soon. The first thing you can do to increase perceived loudness is simply increase the frequencies we are most sensitive to and decrease the other ones so that it sounds uh, louder to the human he ear. Let's try with this very over-exaggerated effect. The effect wouldn't be the same if we were to increase frequencies we are not that sensitive to. Let's say, uh, let's do like that. If you are listening on the phone, it will be obviously quieter. Tell me in the comments down below which version sounds louder. Next idea to increase perceived loudness is to use some sort of uh, trick, which is distortion. So a sound with a lot of distortion will sound much louder. I wouldn't recommend using a distortion plugin on the master channel. When adding distortion, you want to make sure you don't have too many high frequencies. Uh, it can add a lot of harmonics and it's some kind of exciter. It creates frequencies that, that are not here. So uh, make sure you remove the higher frequencies to make sure your sound is clean. Let's say I want to increase a little bit the, the piano volume. I will not increase the volume. I will, inc I will compress it a little bit more just so that the average volume is louder. So the perceived loudness will be also louder if it's compressed. So same volume, but with some sort of compression on it. Let's do it. Without and with. When using a single band compressor, the problem is you're compressing all the frequencies at once. So you may want to use a multi-band multi compressor. So the tip is to compress more the frequencies that are in the mid. So here, as you can see, I'm compressing only the mid. So here is without and with. So yes, the overall volume is louder, but 
it's louder because you increase the right frequencies. So boost the mid-range, use some saturation, distortion to make the sound sound louder and use compression especially on the mid-range to make the sound louder on also tiny devices and to the human ear. That was for question number one. Question number two by Sir Craft Guy. How do you overcome writer's block not feeling inspired? My first tip is do a little cuddle to your cat. A few minutes later. I'm feeling way more inspired. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Jokes aside, you cannot feel inspired all the time. That's totally normal. So my first advice is do not try to overcome writer's block. Just accept it and just do something else. For me, something that can really inspire new songs is going out to a festival, to a concert, talking with friends, listening, discovering new music with friends, going to the movies, try and immerse yourself into stories that you do not create by yourself. So you can go and go for a run. I like to run every Thursday, that's my goal this year, I run every single Thursday. The idea is just that I show up there and I run. You can follow my awesome adventures on Instagram, by the way, at Edwin Music. Um, put in the work on everything else than mu music, do something else and when you are feeling relaxed, when you are feeling excited about uh, this party you went to, this concert you went to, uh, it will probably, something will probably stay in your mind and you will be like, oh, I could make a song like Edwan, like Mike Mil Williams, or like David Guetta, or oh, I like this uh, Avengers movie, I really want to make something in this mood. So do something else, do not try to overcome it. And if you really have to create something, like let's say you really have to make a melody for this new remix you've been asked to make, um, what I like to do is um, create musical clouds. What is a musical cloud, Ed One? What is a musical cloud? Um, it's the alternative when you don't have a cat juicer. Where's Where's Mutter? Let's say you are like now, you don't have any cat juicer. You create something blurry, that's my idea. You, for example, let's say I have a chord progression now. And if it's too dry, it won't inspire you. Sometimes it's just too dry. It's like watching a stone, it won't inspire you. Let's, let's try and create a cloud right now. By the way, link to all my gear in the description below. You can check it out. So let's say I have this pad. This is a nice cloud. Look at this cloud. If you want to make it even more cloudy, it's not cloudy enough for you. Just increase the reverb, put the reverb at 100%. If you really want to increase the effect, add some delay. Add some delay here. And listen to this for a few, a few times, and you will most likely your brain is going to pick some of these notes, and you will be able to create something very nice. Let's see now. I, I, can, I will come up with a melody for you right now. So let's say now. Next question is by um, Zarvi Music. How to you get improved in harmonies? I just gave you one tip here, which is uh, use these uh, musical clouds. I call them like that because it's like, use a pad with a lot of reverb. Some notes will emerge from this uh, foggy uh, set of uh, chords and it will really, and it will most likely uh, spark something, some melodies in your mind. 
another idea is uh, use a chord progression and when you get started you really have no idea uh, in Nexus for example go to arpeggio mode and set it to up and let the magic happen let's say I have this chord progression In FL Studio you can simply click on this little tool here and click on the arpeggiator and you have some notes playing in a crescendo order or, or you can do both or make sure to set the time at something like this Make sure to set the time at, let's say, 2. It's already giving you some ideas. Top left corner, helpers, and make sure you enable ghost channels don't be scared it's just a way to show you notes from other patterns here you can see all the notes that are being played by other instruments so just pick one of these notes so right now i'm just creating a melody out of the chords from the piano Go to select mode, press E by pressing the, the key E, then hold shift, click on every note, press P and slide them. And then you can even do Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And voila, you have your melody, you're welcome, you can make more melodies, inspired users. Alright, um, next question is by Risky Butter. When are you releasing more music? Well, I'm now finishing songs I have started back in like 2016-17 on my YouTube channel. I really want to release more stuff and uh, I'm very bad at finishing stuff, I'm very good at starting stuff. I guess most of you guys are too, so um, it's pretty hard to get finished, to get your songs finished. Um, you have to learn to let it go. Thank you for the great set of questions, I hope this is useful to you guys. Make sure to check out uh, my other videos about music production. Leave your questions in the comments down below, so I will answer in the next episode of Producer Tips. Stay awesome, producers. And of course, don't forget to pray to a fellow studio. <laughs>